KTC 5 News. Next for us this morning, a new trend in fertility treatments. Single women who decide they're going to be moms. We're going to talk about that next. You know, there's a new trend out there developing in fertility treatments. As more and more people say, right, they want to be parents, they don't need a significant other, or they haven't found that significant other yet. So Dr. Lawrence Jacobs of Fertility Centers of Illinois and a mom, Dr. Maria Fournier, both joined me this morning to talk a little bit about this trend. Let's begin with you, Dr. Jacobs. Have you seen a lot more um, people coming to you? Can you quantify that? Um, and when they do come to you, what do they say? Well, I think we're seeing a tremendous increase in the last decade especially. Uh, women in their 30s and 40s who in the past would wait longer and longer for Mr. Wright mm -hmm. uh, finish their career and wait to get married. But now we're seeing a significant trend for a younger age female. And uh, many times they're interested right away in achieving a pregnancy and they, they may or may not get married in the future. So do they sometimes say, well, I just really don't think I need a partner in this case? Or are all of them saying, well, I've looked and, you know, I haven't really found that person? It's really a mix. Mm -hmm. I mean, we see both sides of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dr. Maria Fournier, you're an endodontist. You have your own practice. Um, very busy. What made you say, okay, now is time, and I know you have a cute little one. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I always wanted to have plan A, meet Mr. Wright, get married and have a family, and the years were going by. And I reached the point of now or never. Mm -hmm. And I realized that you can always get married, but you can't always have a child. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I had to seriously decide what I want to do. And I have no regrets. I didn't want to go through life without experiencing motherhood. Mm -hmm. And I've been very blessed. Yeah. And how old is he He now? just became one yesterday. Oh, okay. So it's kind of a new process for you still, right? There's, sure. a, there's a lot of steps to go through. Um, what's the balance been like when you're really the sole person in charge? There is a lot of responsibility there. Uh, having my own practice, I can control my hours, but I could not do it without my mother. My uh -huh. mother has been helping me, so when I'm working, she's watching the baby. Oh, that's awesome. Dr. Jacobs, you're also saying that you're seeing more and more people coming to you, uh, gay couples coming to you, and saying now, now's the time as well. Sure. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it works well, and the technology is the same in terms of either artificial insemination with donor sperm, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes doing IVF in vitro fertilization, depending on the woman's age and clinical circumstances. And at what point is a woman really past the point where she can come to you and say, you know, I, 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 I want to have a, a child? With her age, using her eggs, we will do that up to age 45. Mm -hmm. If a woman wants to be uh, using a gestational carrier, uh, that'll be up to age 50. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how was your pregnancy before we go? Actually, I was very fortunate. I was prepared for the worst, and I had the best pregnancy. Ah. Uh. And I actually worked until the day I delivered. Oh, wow. Okay, there you go. <laughs> All right, Dr. Lawrence Jacobs, Dr. Mary Fournier. So, so nice to meet you guys. Thank See you. you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. And ahead for us, how to prepare the perfect picnic to make your next outing perfect. Also, Ginger's back with a complete look.